Okay, so good question. You know, they give you the case. The first thing you do is you summarize the, the case back to them. You don't repeat it word for word. You streamline it. If there's any math involved in that, you want to bring up the math because we don't know whether the math is going to be important later on or not, and you want to make sure that you get all the numbers. If there's any math that's related to each other, you want to quantify it as a percentage. So if I said word leaked out and our stock jumped from 15 to 18 dollars a share, when you summarize that back to me, you're going to say it jumped 20 percent. Okay, so you you summarize the quit, uh, case. Then you verify the objective, and oftentimes there's a secondary objective that um, they don't tell you about, and, and it's going to pop up halfway through the case and, and bite you. So you want to get in a habit of saying, besides increasing sales or whatever the case was about, are there any other objectives or goals I should be concerned with? If there are, they'll tell you. If there's not, you don't have to worry about it. Uh, but if there are and you didn't ask, they're going to have to feed you that information. And if they have to feed it to you, then you need to, uh, you're going to lose some points because they had to feed it to you. The third step, um, which is about your question, is asking clarifying questions. Now, these are only questions to ask if you don't understand something or if you need additional information in order to lay out your structure. So if they give you industry jargon, slang, a string of initials, anything you don't understand, ask. You don't get any points taken off for, for asking clarifying questions. Also, if you need additional information in order to lay out your structure. So if it's a profit and loss case, a good clarifying question is, are our competitors' profits down as well? Because I want to know, is this our problem or is this an industry-wide problem? If it's an entering a new market case, a good clarifying question to ask is, why do they want to enter this market? Which is something no one ever asked, but it's a kind of it's important. And then you take 90 seconds to lay out your structure. And if you're interviewing with a consulting firm, you certainly want to uh, state a hypothesis, which is basically giving them the answer to the case before you have any of the information that they've given you. So you're, you're coming up with an idea, you're throwing it against the wall to see if it, it sticks. So an example would be if it's a profit and loss case, my hypothesis is that our profits have fallen because our costs have risen. We don't know whether that's true or not, but that's our first hypothesis, and as we work through the case, we'll determine whether that's, that's true.